Welcome to Frico Plays Room Total War 2 in God Mode. This is the Athens 2 edition, episode 32, Eastern Consolidation Campaign Part 5. That's right, Part 5. Is he owes up 10. Just to emphasize the five, it's two fives. It's not ten, it's two fives. It's emphasizing the five. It's a double message of five. Truth. After taking the rest of the Seleucid Empire, all that remains for Clamonides is the taking of Seleucia, which promises terror to the weak. Henceforth to the great Precosian troopers of the SG-1. And the SG-1's going to do a little warm-up here. That's how we're that's how we're going to start things off here. We're, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to begin right like this. Yeah, we're going to make you going to make you cry havoc. Go fetal. And uh, again, the next day, the next day you show up, you get a new sticker on your forehead and bada boom, bada bing. You're a Fricosian. You're a Fricosian. Harmonizing the universe into the way of the Fricosian. That's what we do. We go on up here to uh, Susa. Susa. Oh, wait. You know what? Before we do that, I can't allow this. These guys. We're going to have to deal with these dinguses. Yeah. I knew they were dinguses because we have, we have good intel. We, we scout ahead. We, we get stuff, you know. We get stuff figured out is what we do. You know, we're, we don't like surprises. Surprises are for fools. And the dead. And it's usually the last thing you remember in our world. No surprises. No alarms either, by the way. That's it. That's a Radiohead message that was crossing over into your world again there. See? See, I care. I reach out. I'm, I'm, I'm multicultural. All right, here we go. Um... Susa is going to be dead. And there we go. Goodbye, Susa. Goodbye, Susa. Oh, right to the neck. Right to the neck eel. I love the neck eels. I really am a big neck eel fan in general. Like, uh, I mean, there's no disputing the neck eels, man. You go through the neck and it's like, okay, that's you got my attention. I am willing to talk to you at this point. When I do... Uh, God help me, please let me recover, of course. There's the heavy cavalry there, so let's uh let's get you up here. Let's get her Let's get her heavy cavalry up here. Listen, you get back there. You get that up there, you get that up there. Alright, now you get up all, all up in his butt. Get all up in his butt. No, 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 not that close. That's too much. I didn't even, I didn't even, listen, dude, that was, uh, oh, I'm just going to say that was desert. What is the desert known for being other than hot? I'll just say that. All right. Floated it out there. I don't know how many people put all of that together and then boom, what's processing in your brain right now and. You're asking yourself, why did he do that in the middle of this video? And doesn't really know. I am Frico. I am the emperor of the Fricosian Athenian, whatever we are. All right, let's move forward. We have to save this as we have want to do. So we've saved this as, well, I heard it's pre-Solutia, pre-Solutia 3. That's what we save it as. And then. Buckle your seats, ladies and gentlemen. Because we it's about to get a lot weird around here. Oh, I got some back issues today. So you'll have to pardon me. And when I say back issues, I mean, you know, I like to feign mortal constraint now and then to make you mortals feel whatever it gives me as it i'm acting of course it gives me character but suspend disbelief and let's presume i really do have back pain because i really do all right let's get this uh let's get this going here 
We got. I tell you, you gotta be. You gotta, sometimes this thing will take your heart out. You did a little. You did a little sorting, and your little thing doesn't come up. And you're like, a, uh, uh. are you ready? Here we go. This is the battle. The battle of Seleucia. The real battle of Seleucia. There's gonna be about. Uh, I don't know, roughly maybe 2,500 solutions inside there. Meanwhile, what do we got? Uh, oh, it's 2,000. They have 2,000. And it's walled. So that's the big thing. It's a walled citadel. So we are going to have to contend with the walledness. But as you guys know, we have an answer to wallednesses, right? So this, I was a little bit disappointed because I have given him so much money and I have darn dude just i mean it, it's really cool i would love to own this and like in real life like this would be the place where like me and maybe 10 to 15 trusted families would all like we would all own this together and be like this would be our our world it's like yep this is our world and if we need to just live in this world we could yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want, okay? But as far as facing a Fricosian force of, of of might and all, I would say you need a little bit more higher tech kind of developments to assure that you could withstand the beatdown that you're about ready to experience in the hand of uh, Clemonides, who knows how to use his artilleries. Yes, he does. There's his massive artilleries. He's broken them up into two sets. Good, good. And I think the general plan is gonna gonna take out. What well, we we have reserves coming in, so the general plan is we're gonna take out here. And these are my instructions. So Clemonides, what he wanted to do, he wanted to charge right in. He wanted to basically immediately break these walls and rush right in, and just as soon as you can, everybody just just pours in. That's the basic strategy. Just overwhelm them, take the heart and soul out of them, and, the, and they'll break. That's basically what he assumes. And I'm like, no, we've got to do something else. So so I have limited him and instructed him what I want essentially is I want to make sure that uh, it gives his reserves time to come up. So just be a little bit more systematic. So you can just take out the towers. Okay? One, take out these towers. And then after you take out the towers, then take out the walls. Just take out two sections of wall. And then you can start to use your artillery to shell the folks up here. And and hopefully we won't get much people trying to mess with our artilleries and stuff. And in this instance, I really am not necessarily wanting them to mess with our artilleries much. So, with that in mind, we are about ready to begin. But let's let's get on our general and see. Let's see how much we get to hear from our general, which often isn't very much. But do let's give it a try. And here we go. This is, finally, the end. This is the end of the Eastern Consolidation. After this battle, we'll probably have to do some basic checking and whatnot, because after this battle, I actually have a lot of work to do tomorrow morning. But that's okay, because i got a lot of videos to upload and a lot of stuff, so I can do a lot of this type of work while I'm waiting for videos to upload. So it's not a problem. So I'm looking forward to my morning tomorrow, actually. It's going to be fun getting ready for the final, basically, the final assaults down to the last three empires, the biggies, the three biggies, Rome, Carthage, and Egypt. <coughs> and I don't even know which one we'll tackle first. So with that in mind, let's, oh, hold on, let's get, get you around a little. There we go. Ready? All right. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Nice. Nice. I'm not expecting the general to stay here long. There you go. Good job, general. Take the field. Take that open place. Don't give them a 
space to come up. Good, good men, good men, good work. And you just wait, and you just patiently wait for the hole to open. Don't hit that wall. Dang, that tower's gonna go soon. A little dizzying sometimes. It's a hard, it's a hard life as a soldier. I gotta tell you that. Really. Then there goes that tower, and we got one more tower, guys. We got one more tower. Let's see how fast you get things churning up. What? Here we go. Just take them towers out. That's all I care about right now. All right, there goes the towers. Now we're going to get our walls opening up real soon here. Now we're real calibrating. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Already, already just chug chugging. There we go. There we go. There we go. Walls are open. I'm going to get one more set. We don't want to open it wide. Here comes, here comes the general going into the gap. Oh, and there goes the other walls. Just keep going. And they are in it going right in. See, they ain't messing around. All right, let's see what's going on in the overall. So far, no real challenges to the artilleries. Where? Okay, whoa, look at this. Our troopers are pouring in now. And just like I said, you know, you got that gap so you can pour them in. I didn't want them having to go in where they were blocked up. And I was right about that. Well, Clemonides was right, actually. I'm sorry. I don't want to take his glory. I do that sometimes, and I apologize. I apologize, Clemonides, man. I apologize, bro. You know you did well. You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. Wow, you're just overwhelming them. Not even... I mean, this is just... Just one of the ways that you can win. And he did what he was doing, but look how fast he's moving once he did the part that I told him to do. He got his guys, and they, and, and, and look how effective it is. Just now they, they quickly took this. Where at first there was a bit of a struggle, they, they quickly took it. It's, it's not even... These guys... These guys are just looking for a way out. They're not, they're not threatening anyway. Let's see if we can catch a ride with these guys or not. See what it's, nope, nope, we can't. Where are we, back with the, we're back with the general. Are we going forward? What are we doing? Oh man, gosh, it's a mess. I don't know, you guys. These guys are just marching and these, what? Why are you just not? Oh, okay. Oh, there you go, you're finally gonna, you're finally gonna shoot them. These guys just want to get away. It's a little late for that. There's no place to go. You understand? It's all over. Your whole world is over. We have we have taken possession of the whole land. We have secured the east. Do you understand that we have secured the east? It's a joke. It's a joke for you to run because there's nowhere for you to run other than the, the employment office because we'll get jobs for you. We're going to get jobs for you. Don't worry. We understand the running. You know what? It's good. Keep running. Good. I mean, I kind of don't blame you, really. I mean, look at it. 
Oh gosh. There we go. Let's get a ride with these guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Why do you always stick me with the guy that get less be gets that gets left behind? You guys suck. Let's see, is that the general? Nope. I mean, it's basically over. And these guys are these guys are skedaddling. And that's okay. We we don't really care. There's nowhere for you to go. And then you got these guys just like All right, are you coming in? Are you are you are you coming in? And they're trying to come in. I I don't recommend that. And then these guys are like, "No, never mind. Let's not do that." Alrighty. Oh. Wow. They're bringing in guys. Wow. And they're just getting mowed down. They're just getting mowed down. Unbelievable. And now they're getting hurled. Oh, wow. That's just was... They didn't even get to the battlefield. So they're uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, wow. I got to say, Clamonides, Clamonides, Clamonides. What a legend. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful win. I commend you, Clamonides. You just uh, wonderful. You just did great. I'm very proud of you. Everything that you've done has been top shelf, old boy. So I really appreciate that. All right. And now let's give you let's give you the visuals that you so richly deserve, my friends. You absolutely deserve this. Let us experience the visualization, the, the, the condensed visualization, the gififying, the gififying, that's your parlance, right? The gififying of the whole battle, succinctly. It's coming your way. We're about ready to make of the Seleucids a no moreism. So we are about ready to have them inherit the whole new philosophy of no more, no more existing. And here we go. Here you get to see it for yourself. You get to see the slaughter, the pain, the all, the wonder. By the way, you guys wonder if I keep talking about these guys getting an employment office and yet them still being slaves? <gasps> what are you saying? I'm saying one thing. These guys can't live. We're going to kill these guys. These guys get death. Hot, searing death. There's nothing interesting about you. Nobody likes you. That's why you died. You know who likes me? The the, the Romans like me. The Carthaginians like me. And the Egyptians like me. All the popular people like me. The only ones left. And they all love me. I, I, I mean, just take that in. The only ones left. And they all love me. Do you know what that means? That means that I'm going to be able to systematically haste, go through and and destroy each empire with with my allies supporting me in the war. Never having a chance to really dis well, you'll see. Life is good. We're gonna give everyone fair chances to keep building and and doing what you do, so Let's see, where's Cremonides is here, so I think that we have secure, well, is there something over here? Is that us? Oh no, we're not going after you, we love you guys, you guys are awesome. Seriously, love you Egypt, totally inviting you to my wedding. 
I invited Egypt to my wedding. Of course I did, man. Egypt was there. Rome was there. Carthage was there. We were all bro cousins. We're like, yo, man, this is nice. We all love each other. It's so peace and love. And glad none of us are imperialistic. Dude, totally, totally. We're not like, that's so like, that's so last century. That's so, I guess, uh. Oh, I always get confused. I gotta remember. That's so third century BC. This is we're now in the second century BC. We're just entering the second century BC. Okay. So so don't go third century BC on us. Don't be a nerdle. All right. Cremonides is I, I don't see any any guy. So let me explain the situation here. Let's 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 do a little visualization. This is it. Uh oh, uh oh! Guess what? Guess what? 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 Hold on. Guess what? We've got ourselves an issue. Somebody's down here. So let's go. Let's go figure out what that is. Okay. Okay, that's a. Okay, we got to deal with this. We've got We've got Cushite armies to destroy. And we have one more. We have one more Cushite army to destroy. This is basically the mopping up that you guys are witnessing. Get him. Oh, gosh. That's sad. A sad ending to a glorious kingdom. No more. Oh, wait. No, that wasn't the Kush. That's Miro. I don't. Yeah, no, no. That's the Kushite, too. Whatever. You confuse me. I don't know. You I don't know. Yeah, that's Kush. All right. Kush is no more. So that means that that is secured. So let's. Uh, uh, let's check everything out here. Got any issues going on? I don't see any issues. All right. Let's go on over here. And you see, let's just give you a sense of the situation. We have here. Well, we have here a problem. We have a situation here where... Notice that they're whoop whoop. Hold on. Let me go get a navy. Let me. I need a navy. Where are you at right now? Okay, you might do. I'm not sure. Okay, no. Where 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 is the? Where did I see this this blight of humanity? Oh yeah, here. Yeah. Ah, uh, gosh darn it. I keep doing that. Stop it. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's go get this guy. Come on. Come on. Oh, boy. We're sending, we're sending Cleisthenes himself to try to rid the land of this scourge of of indecency and non fricosian nature is this is I would say it wagers on it, it borders on is vulgar too strong a word to use for you guys I need to know comment down below if that's true I should not use the word vulgar or if you like the word vulgar and you're like that's a better word than some of the other words you might have used like, uh, well, I won't say them because that would be kind of rude, right? Not a rude person. Kind of vulgar, but is vulgar and rude synonymous? That's what I want to know. I I'm just killing time here while Cleisthenes takes his sweet old loving time. Come on, Cleisthenes. Yeah, I see your lips moving, but I don't see your oars swinging, okay? Swing them oars a little bit faster, Cleisthenes, because, you know, we got a show to do. 
We're trying to get things done in a timely manner here, folks. This is the last episode of the Eastern thing. We got to make sure we're we're done. There we go. Let's get him. Don't don't let him get away. Don't. So how many? How much life do you have in you? Oh gosh, that is it. The sad end. Bandua's will. Goodbye. 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 Sinky Winky. A golden beauty going to the bottom of the sea. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And there goes the Lusitani. Let's see what kind of situation we got going on here. We got. Uh, there you go. See that? See that? I want you to take this in, ladies and gentlemen. I do not have to worry about my lands, by the way, now. <laughs> I'm going to save this right now real quick. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. no, no. We're going to save this. So We're going to save this as, okay, final three. I'll just, say, uh, no, oh, oh, wait, wait, it's four. Final four, because there are four of us. Final four. We're going to save the final four. This is so awesome. All right. Save the final four, right? And I think. In my estimation, I believe that I want probably to tackle Egypt next. And the reason is this. Rome and Carthage are close enough to each other. They might still compete, and one of them might take more property or less property. But uh, I'm hoping, because next round, I am going to basically, I'm going to give Rome all the money. And I'm not going to give Carthage any money this round. And I'm also going to give Egypt all the money because I want Egypt to build themselves up as much as possible. So my plan here is I am going to go through my stuff and I'm going to be updating it. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm I might just uh, do a brief show where I go and I do my updates for all my guys and we have a little conversations because we got to talk to these dudes. Bring them on the show. Let them have some air time. I think maybe get some guest appearances from some of these guys, do some interviews, stuff like that. Uh, but we've got a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to go through. A lot. So it's going to be quite daunting, quite daunting indeed. And and there you go, that. I don't know what's going on. All of a sudden, my back is really bothering me. It's the end of the end. And then he died on stream. And then he died on stream. People die on stream now. Of course they do. Because when you have enough people do enough things, the statistics are people die. And in ways that more people see it. Stuff. Sad world. Sad universe that we live in. But also wonderful. All of these things are true. So we are we're done here. Except uh, let's see. Do I have anything else I want to do before I leave you guys? I just want to. I, I basically have everything secured. I, I I I have. Oh, I know. I I do want you to see this. I want you to see this. I am going to give Carthage. Today is a good day Hi, to buddy. discuss topics of mutual benefit. I can give him a little. Oh, man, I can't do that. I can't. You know what? I, I am. Yeah, I'm going to give it to him. I've decided. You know what? No, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to give to Rome. For the Senate's part, be welcome. I Thank listen you. and speak for them in our dealings today. Good. Thank you, my friend. I give you a big old large S. Here you go, Bo. They've we accepted our offer. Terms, and I can return to the Senate sure that we have done good work today. There you go. And let's see if we got uh, Egypt here. Egypt. Enter, friend, and speak. 
Hey. Surely have much to discuss and perhaps much to agree. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, you usually compliment my witty repartee, but that's cool. Here you go. Got you some money. There you go. The gods rejoice when men show such good sense. We have an accord here. She agrees to take my money. I mean, that's uh I didn't think that their philosophy allowed such uh reasonable assumptions, but apparently Egypt has advanced. <laughs> I do love it when they when they when they when they wax poetical and philo philosophical while they take my money. Just buying off their their peace. Just just I'm I'm not it's the China. It's the China syndrome. Here's Athens. You see this? I am in good stead with all these guys. Watch this. Look at look at that. Good stead. They all love me. Military ally. Military ally. Military ally. I'm telling you, I am in peace. I am in peace, love, and harmony. And all I had to do is pay these guys off. And that's what you do. You just pay people off. And then uh and then stuff happens. Like Rome Rome is just building itself up to be my little plaything when the time comes. <laughs> oh, yes. So, oh, beauty, beauty, beauty. We have finished at long last the Eastern Consolidation Campaign. We are now in possession of every part of the world except for Rome, Egypt, and Carthage, which is just what we wanted well actually it could have been the Seleucid they were eligible but they ended up being the weak sister so they went first but still you gotta admit toward the end there they put up one heck of a fight there down the stretch so hey I think some of our investment actually did pay off so I can't wait to see what these guys might have in store for us I hope that uh, I'm thinking that each of these is probably going to be, like, Carthage is probably going to be two episodes. Egypt might be three. It might, it probably is only two. And Rome is probably three. So we're looking at possibly, uh, and I could be over, a, I, could, I could be surprised at what I find. There might be way more than I imagine, but I'm thinking seven more episodes are left something like that somewhere around there but well I, I i can tell you this thing is for sure this episode is over good night everybody you've been watching Frico plays rome total war 2 in god mode athens 2 episode 33 this is the eastern consolidation campaign part 4 which is the battle of seleucia itself after taking the rest of well and there that's it I, I almost started to read the little script thing that I write for myself again, and that would have been stupid. But, hey, good job, SG-1 and Clemonides. Nice. But, no, there's no there's no quarterback controversy. Alexandros is still our starting general. Don't even worry about it. 